Hi, and welcome to lesson number one on this series on cartooning. In this lesson, we'll be constructing a basic cartoon bear head using fundamentals that you find in other disciplines of art, namely shape, form, line, value, and shading. I know you guys are approaching these assignments from varied artistic backgrounds. So as always, do your best and feel free to bring whatever additional skills you have to the table. I'm gonna be taking you through the process step by step, so grab a pencil, an eraser, and a piece of paper, and let's get started. All right, so the first thing I have to do is draw the basic ball and the guidelines. So here I have just a circle. And to make it a ball, I'm gonna start adding some ellipses. This one's for the center line, and this one's for the eye line, going around our ball. This is what makes a shape a form. Now that I have these guidelines, and I can start blocking in the features. So right at the eye line, I'm going to draw my muzzle using just another oval shape and then two smaller ovals for the eyes. Then I'm going to do two basic circles for the ears, sort of up towards the crown of the head. Once all that stuff is blocked in, I'm going to start adding details and refining my lines. So here I'm picking out of the many lines I drew, the lines that I think the, are the best, and I'm darkening them up. I'm going to erase all the extra other lines. I'm going to start adding details like drawing in this pupil. And do it on the other eye as well. Inside the face I'm using sort of broken lines. You can see uh, up towards the top of the eye, I leave a little space. You do that in cartoons for lines that are more subtle. Lines that are details, not necessarily edges, like the edge of this ear. On this ear, I'm starting to do calligraphy lines. So with calligraphy lines, it makes it look like someone painted it with a brush, and it gives it some more character. So what you want to do is make your line thicker towards the apex of the curve, or where the line is the curviest, or bows out the most. You'll add a little bit more thickness there. It's a common convention in cartooning to add those calligraphy lines. Now I'm just making this corner of the mouth Get a smiley little cheek by giving it some thickness. And drawing in the shape of the nose, it's just a rounded upside down triangle. So I do my upside down triangle, but then I make those edges nice and round. Here I'm putting in that bottom lip. Notice how the muzzle goes right into the mouth. This is a Disney style cartoon, very much based on uh, Mickey Mouse perhaps. I'm drawing that same sort of cowl-shaped separation. It's like a widow's peak that separates the head from the face area. Gives a little bit more detail. Helps you focus more on the facial expressions. Here I'm making that nice calligraphy line, trying to smooth out my curves as much as possible. In cartooning, you want to use a lot of nice basic shapes and smooth curves. You want to simplify your form. That's part of what defines a cartoon. It's a simplification of things that we see in real life. Here I'm going up on this ear. and I'm adding some texture to that edge of the ear to imply that it's a furry creature. Giving a nice thick calligraphy, calligraphy edge. Go back, keep building those lines up. Here I'm adding the inside of the ear. Make a little abstract shape for that inside. Thicken the edge, thicken that edge of the curve. I'm 
This is what we talk about when we talk about line quality. What is the quality of the line? Does it have thickness and thinness? Does it have what we'd call character? You can express kind of playfulness with your line and energy. Here I'm just refining some lines and darkening certain elements in. Now I'm coming in here with my eraser and cleaning up all these extra lines. I've committed to the ones that I want and I'm getting rid of the ones I don't want. A nice broken line there between the head and the ear gives it a sense of connectedness. You don't want it to look like these are all things just glued together. You want to make it seem continuous. That's something that a, a broken line can do for you. I like to work from upper left to lower right. So you can see in the upper left, I've done my best job refining all my lines and cleaning up and now I'm moving down. Uh, the reason why you want to do it this way is so that your hand doesn't end up blurring your finished lines as much. If you start at the lower right and worked your way up to the upper left, you'd have all these hand smears. So here I'm trying to smooth out my curves, make them seem gradual and elegant. These are uh, the elements of cartooning that I find the most challenging. Coming from a background in more realistic artwork, I found it really exciting to challenge myself to try to grow in this way and work on these elements of cartooning that I don't necessarily have the confidence or skill level I could ultimately get. Over here I decided that it would look better if the head curved out a little bit more and then just come down so flat. So I just drew a new line, erased the old line. Art is a process of uh, exploration and refinement, so you put down several lines to build up, and then you correct it and fix it so that it looks the way you want it to. A lot of people will learn to draw one angle of one character and that's really fun and impressive but if you really want to be a great artist which is what I want for all of you guys you need to learn to be able to build up your characters using basic shapes and basic forms so that you can draw them from any angle you can draw them with any facial expression doing any action that's how you get real freedom with your artwork. Being able to learn this kind of process. There you go. Now I'm going to add a tone in the nose. I'm going to add a nice dark black for the nose, give it, make it an area of focus, give it some contrast with that highlight. with a nice dark. And 
Now I'm going to add a, a more subtle gray tone here to create a feeling of separation between the face and the head. So I'm just doing a quick sketch over there and a nice quick finger blend to make an even tone. Just blending it all the way around. There we go. Now I can use my dirty finger here from doing that blending to add some tone on the face make the face seem to curve a little bit more. I put a tone just at the bottom of the eyes above the snout to pop that snout out. I did a little core shadow on the underside of the nose with some reflected light so it reads as more cylindrical. Add a little bit more graphite there to pop it out. A little bit here at the bottom. Hopefully now you have a really nice drawing that you're happy with. And that's the nice thing about cartooning too, is it's quick, so it gives you a good opportunity for practice. If you don't like your drawing, just do another one or do three. By the time you do that last one, you'll really see some progress and some growth. There you have it. See you next time.